what's going on. I uh, wanted to make a kind of video right now uh, just because I've kind of been slacking and right now so just to give you an update in Hawaii right now I'm on the big island at a tea farm mamaki tea farm and also vegetable farm and been here for almost a month um, really enjoying it learning a lot um, <laughs> I'll just like add in some highlights of kind of like the things that I've been doing here and uh, yeah it's, it feels like it's been a lot um, we've been like doing different things every day and uh, occasionally we go to the beach and like there's a place nearby called Black Sand Beach um, which had sea turtles there you know just out there in the wild um, there was also another beach we went to and it had uh, tropical fish and dolphins just like <laughs> swimming just right off the shore <laughs> doing backflips and things uh, that was pretty wild and yeah so just uh just trying to learn as much as i can while i'm here and i yeah i've just been enjoying just you know having a place to just kind of relax take in the nature and see a different side of the island that um, a lot of tourists probably don't really get to see and uh, nearby there's coffee farms and i've been uh, wanting to go film those more i'm um, really interested in how coffee is produced um, but yeah the having like seeing how tea is produced and all that that's been uh, that was high on my list so i'm really excited that i'm getting to work with the tea and there's also Volcano Park is nearby, the National Volcano Park. That's on the Big Island, so that's that's uh, that's pretty close. So I want to go film that eventually. Um, I don't think there's any active lava flows now, um, but I definitely do want to go capture that. Uh, but it's pretty cool <laughs> um, since we are on a, we are on a uh, uh, an island that you know has you know some volcanic activity. You can also uh, feel earthquakes every once in a while, pretty minor ones, um, but. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it was kind of weird to uh, to be laying in bed and then all of a sudden the entire room starts, you know, like shaking a little bit and you you hear stuff rattling, like the windows are rattling and the panes and yeah, that was kind of, that's kind of wild. <laughs> this is like a normal thing here. So yeah, I've just been, uh, just been trying to get the Hawaiian experience. <laughs> Uh, I started, I started in Honolulu. I was there for 10 days before coming to the big island and you know, I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't plan on renting a car or anything. I just wanted to walk everywhere or use a bike. Um, so I didn't see that much of Oahu, which is the island that Honolulu is on. And the same thing here, uh, except here the buses are free, which is unique. Um, so you can get on any bus and go pretty much anywhere on the island because um, the buses run free and they run almost every day. So I've been trying to take advantage of that on the days off of working at the farm. And it's been working pretty well. Uh, I haven't gotten stranded yet, which is good, but uh, that is something to you know keep in the back of your mind because sometimes the bus only leaves once. And uh, if you miss that bus, then it's like you're kind of out of luck. So I've uh, been trying to take advantage of the buses, but we've also been taking uh, trips uh, using the cars and going around to different spots. but. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's just been just been awesome. I love it. So, one of the things I'm learning uh, here is like, you know, I expected hot or warm weather, and it can actually get feels like it's pretty cold. It feels like it gets pretty cold in the in the mornings and nights, um, down to like 48, 50 degrees, which doesn't sound too bad. But um, I never expected, you know, to be bundle, bundling up and uh, wearing my hoodie and long sleeve and long pants. Um, but yeah, it's just like, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been an experience and we've also, uh, yeah, we also had like a lot of rain, uh, when I first got here. So I wasn't, you know, that wasn't too thrilling, uh, working in the rain. Um, but it's, uh, we've had a lot of beautiful days recently. Um, so, and yeah, it's almost been a month now. So, and, uh, yeah, just trying to make the most of it, enjoy it and 
yeah, just wanted to give an update because I've been slacking and one of the reasons, well, I don't want to make excuses, but one of the things I've been dealing with is like, I'm, I am capturing so much, a lot of video every day and I just started, you know, uploading things to the cloud and uh, so I'm trying to upload things to the cloud and it's not the fastest internet. It's fast enough, but it's like to upload the amount of files that I need to clean off my laptop so I can have room, working room so I can, you know, edit these files. Uh, it's taking me a while. So just, uh, just trying to capture it all. And, um, yeah, just, you know, eventually I'll get to it all and, and, uh, make videos. So, but yeah, the other day I was watching, uh, some more Ben Brown vlogs and Casey Neistat. And, uh, I was just like, you know what? I just need to make videos. <laughs> like, I just need to make like a vlog. It's like, I'm, I'm worried about, you know, making like, you know, making a certain type of video I just need to make a daily vlog video and just you know enjoy the process and you know make use of all this footage I'm capturing so it's just you know don't need to overthink it so that's what I'm doing that's what the point of this video is just kind of like an update and yeah just whatever I'm gonna do today or maybe I'll even just have like highlights of things I've been doing but uh, yeah just need to make a video and yeah start the day. So much to get the pink and the purple daikon. Mm
Right below, right where the, I can't remember the Latin name for this thing, but the stalk of the plant, there's, these are going to be roots, so they'd cut that. I'm supposed to bury it like all the way up here. Oh, oh. And then, and then the, this is some taro and sold it. So when we have, we had, we saved all the holy, when we plant it, we're going to plant it the right way and put a bunch of organic material. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. What's up? Just wanted to add um, that uh, I've just realized that uh, being here in Hawaii is it's basically paradise, <laughs> uh, especially if you really love plants. Um, and like, there's just so many things you can grow here, and so many things that are growing here. I mean, we were we're picking, you know, you know, not only vegetables, but you know, we're heart, you know, we're getting uh, oranges off trees and you know i'm right here in the banana patch there's you know just fresh bananas right up on my head you know coffee beans uh fresh mamaki tea yeah it just goes on and on avocados we've got fresh avocados um in addition to all the vegetables so it's just really just like a fresh uh food lover's paradise and uh yeah it's just it's awesome and add on all the flowers and the chameleons and the geckos <laughs> just like yeah it's, it's really just it's amazing really amazing i didn't know what to expect um so yeah now i know it's just like just and on top of all that we've got the beaches nearby with sea turtles and then there's volcanoes you know it's just like <laughs> just goes on and on so yeah hawaii uh it's got a lot going for it so just happy to be here <laughs>